Charles Hoskins, who started Hoskins Cardano, is back at it in this episode. Blaming the XRP community and making up more lies will be talked about. Bullets were fired at John Dion. We are going to talk with Brad Ginghouse. For a while now, BlackRock has been making vague references to the possible ETF. Now that the time is almost up, we'll look at an extra pay chart for MAGAD cryptocurrency. Finally, what does it mean that the Circle has decided to stop using USDC on the Tron network? If you're new to this channel, please give it a thumbs up. It will help others and give you chances. It's very good for the channel, mostly. And if you haven't already, it only takes two seconds to subscribe. Look at this moment of mine. Take a short break. You could have finished that earlier. Let's look at the market. Things that are going on before we get to the news. Bitcoin has lost 2.03% in the last 24 hours right in front of us. It was worth $51.20, which is $263. Eternum, it's gone right in front of our eyes. The dollar has returned to its dollar peg, up 1% at $2,918, which could mean that the short drop in value is over and money is back where it belongs. Also, the US dollar is still worth 99 XRP. Based on the 54 cents, the hourly seems to still have some life in it. 1% isn't terrible, but it's also not something to be proud of. It could go up or down right now. 4.74%, I sent this a tweet. You should do it. Do yourself a favor and get some Lux Lions NFTs to be the CTO of Cool Cats. That's right, he is working with us. Look at what those cool kids did. The same person who helped the moons reach their goals and made them each worth almost $2,500 was also at the Max Day Parade. He does, in fact, work with BLX. Lions, it seems like you now think you will use the same plan. Cool Cats is what you think you will use, just like you did with Lux. They help you in some way and give you back XRP. I don't know when it will become clear. Every single month. One more thing is that we take credit cards, which is part of it all. The URL can be found on my Twitter account, which is shown below. You have to take part in Lux. The program has been going for a year and a half. And this is my work. We started about 18 months ago, and we're still growing. In the past month, we doubled the number of holders. I've seen that these trends are still going strong after 60 days as more and more people quit the NFT projects they were working on because they weren't getting anything done and kept doing the same thing every month. What does putting out new art have to do with it? And all you have to do is hold the art. You get nothing in return when people get tired of it. It's really that simple. This is where we do our breeding. We now have a place to mint coins and will soon have pack openings. We are involved in two separate metaverses that are about to start up. Our company is always growing and improving. Um, the people in the XRP community say that soon we'll be, we'll be multi-chain to include the founder of Maxis Cardano. We have no proof that the FCC was bribed or that they are against peace. This person is smart. Being honest, I think he's totally crazy. I don't understand what he's saying to you. At this point, I think he's trying to pay attention to people who ask him to. It should be easy to bring up XRP. He wants everyone to notice him. I believe he was right about everything. He knows he was wrong. So why is he suddenly taking back what he said? I'm not sure I get it. I have to say that I think it's interesting. We name this fear. To be honest, I think it's kind of funny that Elizabeth Warren made fun of John Dean while she was lying to stay alive. It looks like the mag republic apparatus since I couldn't find a single Republican in Massachusetts to run against me. They send a candidate from Rhode Island that the GOP will back. You do find it interesting when special interest groups do things. If not, it's clear that she's worried. If Dion thought he was a threat, she would not have talked about him on Twitter or brought him up sir. She wouldn't have done anything. There's nothing there, and you can see that she's already taking pictures. I wish her the best of luck. Still, she had to leave otherwise in it. Seeing if Dion could climb, this would be pretty cool. Does Barrier take on this challenge by himself? She lost to her. We need someone pro crypto like John. Someone, you know, because this is just the start. He is the one who defends people against the SEC, and now he will be going up against Elizabeth Warren. In a few months, I can't wait to see how everything turns out. We'll look into this and figure it out. How's things going there? Um, what crypto says Brad Jinghouse, CEO of Ripple, talks about a possible BlackRock XRP ETF. It is without a doubt K in Washington. That was a big part of the decision. And as you may have seen, the SEC approved the Grayscale conversion to a spot ETF of Bitcoin or BTC. They also approve spot Bitcoin ETFs that are easier to get. Some people think that an XRP ETF will come out sometime in the future. Okay, what do you think about that idea? It's great to meet you. It's kind of like when the stock market first started. Don't put all of your money into one stock or company. As a rule, you should think about things like spreading out your risk instead. It makes sense to me that there will be more ETFs because of this. It's tough to say when ETFs will come out. The sad truth is that the Bitcoin ETF came about because the courts finally made the SEC and share manipulators open their eyes and take a look. 
My opinion is that this makes these markets safer and stronger, which is good for investors to kind of lean into. So if you want an XRP ETF, we would also like one. And I think there will always be more than always be more than one ETF for different tokens. I think that ETFs might even be around in the future. Given all the fuss about ETFs, I think that further spreading that risk is the best thing that can be done. Are you in touch with the biggest problem makers, BlackRock, to get this fixed? I guess I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm aware of a few things BlackRock has said. We think it's okay for the whole XRP community to say it in public. Ripple, you are definitely very important. As a participant in the XRP ecosystem, we're not the only ones, though. You can see that XRP was, I think, the second most valuable digital asset before the SEC took action. This is because of the problems. You know that we have mostly seen that lawsuit. But in the long run, you care about what you think about these things. What can be done with all of these digital assets to make them useful and help solve problems in the real world? As a way to store value, Bitcoin is doing really well. For payments, XRP is great because it is fast, efficient, and has a low cost per transaction. This is something that Ripple has built its business around. BlackRock is going to talk about it. BlackRock wants people to notice them. Brad says that it would only be good for the XRP community. Talk about the institutional demand you want to see, to talk about investing money. If you buy XRP, you never know where it might go in value. This high has never been seen before. When money from institutions comes in, it is used. Things could go really badly here overnight. And I'm sure that people in the know think that an XRP ETF makes sense now that we know what the rules are for this year. I think the only thing that stands in the way is the first step. I'm currently talking about the last part in the Ripple VS. CC lawsuit, I think this is the last thing that needs to be done for the last turtle to move aside. Uh, some people think it might end in the second or third quarter of this year. I don't think Ethereum will get an ETF because there is too much garbage, but I think an XRP ETF will start up as soon as that is fixed. Given how things stand right now, I don't see how Ethereum will get an ETF. I know that applications have already been sent in, but as Brad said, there will be a number of ETFs. Like, how about an ETF that keeps an eye on Bitcoin XRP in a basket? People think about what will happen. People get what they want. A man named Michael Branson is in charge. 